Hey guys, welcome back to the Ron Williams YouTube channel. I hope you've been enjoying Nutrition Month. Now this is the second of three videos where we're talking about the macronutrients. Last week we talked about uh, the carbohydrates and we wanted you to choose which one was a carbohydrate, which one was a fat, which one was a protein. Today I want you to do the same thing. But today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you up front, I threw one in to trick you. Let's see if you find out as you look through these food groups, which one is the trick and if you can catch it. Okay, let's just examine these real quick as we look through them. Good, good, good. And we go back the other direction. Okay guys, as we explain these, I want you to tell me which one is a protein, fat, or carbohydrate. You've already seen them. Is this a protein, fat, or carbohydrate? Is this a protein, fat, or carbohydrate? Well, if you look at the label, what does it say? So that might be an easy one. This might be an easy one. And as we go through each one of them, it's for you to decide and determine. And by the time we finish, we're gonna find out where's the fat, where's the protein, where's the carbohydrate. Okay, let's start with this one. This is a whey protein. And a whey protein, actually, you know, people love whey protein because of the absorption. It absorbs rapidly and gets into the system. Um, but the thing about the whey protein, it's not a whole protein. It's the byproduct of a whole protein. Even though it has the entire amino acid makeup, you can never outdo God. The way God created it is in its best state. You can't outdo God. And remember, this is a supplement. And what that simply means, because when I said that, I made some of you angry, but this will help you out a little bit. In its original form is where it has all of the nutrients and every one of the um, nutrients are synergistically put together so that it functions properly in the body. And because it is a supplement, the word supplement itself means in addition to. So this is only a supplement. It supplements what you eat. It supplements your diet. It supplements a good, clean diet. You can eat as much protein as you want um, in this form, but if you don't have a good, clean diet, it's not gonna do it for you. So clean your diet up. Now we look at the next one. Pea protein. For those of you that are vegetarian or vegan, you say, you know what, I hate meat. I'm working with a girl now. She doesn't like meat very good, very much at all. Uh, her goals are a little bit different. And, um, but most athletes that I've worked with, I've never been able to get them to reach their full potential in whatever activity it was that they competed in. Whether it was football, bodybuilding, track, protein, Good sources of protein are essential for an athlete. You burn tremendous amounts of protein in just practice and doing your activity. But pea protein is a scary one. I want you to do a little research. Just look up pea protein MSG. Pea protein MSG. A lot of your pea proteins are MSG because you're taking a protein out of a carbohydrate. Remember we talked about last week, your carbohydrates come from the earth. It has traces of protein in it, but it is not considered a protein. But what has happened is the protein or the traces of protein that's in peas, they've extracted it out and they've made a protein power, uh, powder for those that don't necessarily like um, regular protein. So that's this. Now we go over here and we have ham and we have bacon. Both of these come from the pig. And I don't know if you guys know this, but you're gonna learn this about me. I don't eat pork, period. Because pork transfers 72 parasites and diseases to humans. Biblically, this is not something that was allowed in the Old Testament, but lot, lots of people eat it, and they look at chapter 10 of Acts, and they say that everything that is um, edible 
or every animal that God created is good for eating. But it actually doesn't say that. They use Peter, and you'll notice that Peter, at this point, he wasn't disobedient to God, but he didn't even eat because he didn't understand what was being said. So that's something that I've studied extensively, and I'm absolutely right on that. I'm probably gonna get some pushback on that. And if I do, I'll just explain it to you in, in more detail, biblically. Uh, so I don't eat that at all. Transfer 72, parasites and diseases to humans. So I don't eat that. All things that God made are good, but they're good for what he created it for. Okay, he created mice too, but you don't want to eat those, do you? You don't want to eat an eagle or um, um, uh, a, a crow or something like that. You wouldn't eat that, would you? Some countries they do, but here we just don't. Here we have chicken. Is it a fat, protein, or carbohydrate? So far, we have proteins. This is also a protein. And as you can see, it's a lean cut of protein. It's the chicken breast. Okay, we'll go on. So, so far we've found proteins. Now we go to another animal. Beef. Look at this real close. Fatter protein. Carbohydrate. Which one? Or look at this one also. Fatter protein. A carbohydrate, you tell me. Okay, as we look at this, this, some of you said this is fat. This is considered a protein, even though it has fat in it, because the way you determine whether something is a protein, fat, or carbohydrate is uh, a protein is distinguished by if it has all nine of the essential amino acids, this does, if the majority of the calories are based on protein. So the majority of these calories are protein and not fat. But you could call this a protein and a fat because of the marbling white that you see in this. But if you were going to uh, create a meal, this would be considered the protein of your meal. Now we look at this cut, a little bit different, less marbling, much, much less marbling. marbling. This would absolutely be considered, with no question, a protein because of the leanness. So again, so far we have proteins. We look at this. Oh my goodness, a great protein, huh? Actually, it's not. This is considered an essential fatty acid and it has protein, fat, and carbohydrates within it, but because of the majority of the calories come from fats, this is considered a fat because of that. So if you want your essential fatty acids, this is what you would eat. If you want your protein, you would eat along this line that we've, that we've searched so far. Okay, let's move on. This would be in the same category, but as you notice, this would not even be considered an essential fat because these nuts actually have been roasted. Biblically, this is not something that was allowed in the Old Testament, but lot, lots of people eat it, and they look at chapter 10 of Acts and they say that everything that is um, edible or every animal that God created is good for eating. But it actually doesn't say that. They use Peter and you'll notice that Peter, at this point, he wasn't disobedient to God, but he didn't even eat because he didn't understand what was being said. So that's something that I've studied extensively and I'm absolutely right on that. I'm probably gonna get some pushback on that. And if I do, I'll just explain it to you in, in more detail, biblically. Uh, so I don't eat that at all. Transfer 72, parasites and diseases to humans. So I don't eat that. All things that God made are good, but they're good for what he created it for. Okay, he created mice too, but you don't wanna eat those, do you? You don't wanna eat an eagle or um, um, uh, a, a crow or something like that. You wouldn't eat that, would you? Some countries they do, but here we just don't. Here we have chicken. Is it a fat, protein, or carbohydrate? So far, we have proteins. This is also a protein. And as you can see, it's a lean cut of protein. It's the chicken breast. Okay, we'll go on. So, so far we've found proteins. Now we go to another animal. Beef. Look at this real close. Fatter protein. Carbohydrate. Which one? Or look at this one also. Fatter protein or carbohydrate, 
You tell me. Okay, as we look at this, this, some of you said this is fat. This is considered a protein, even though it has fat in it, because the way you've determined whether something is a protein, fat, or carbohydrate is uh, a protein is distinguished by if it has all nine of the essential amino acids, this does, if the majority of the calories are based on protein. So the majority of these calories are protein and not fat. But you could call this a protein and a fat because of the marbling white that you see in this. But if you were going to uh, create a meal, this would be considered the protein of your meal. Now we look at this cut, a little bit different, less marbling, much, much less marbling, marbling. This would absolutely be considered, with no question, a protein because of the leanness. So again, so far we have proteins. We look at this. Oh my goodness, a great protein, huh? Actually, it's not. This is considered an essential fatty acid and it has protein, fat, and carbohydrates within it, but because of the majority of the calories come from fats, this is considered a fat because of that. So if you want your essential fatty acids, this is what you would eat. If you want your protein, you would eat along this line that we've, that we've searched so far. Okay, let's move on. This would be in the same category, but as you notice, this would not even be considered an essential fat because these nuts actually have been roasted. So we have your nuts here. Now, I want you to see this. These are one of the tricks that I have for you. This is peanuts that has protein in it, and this is just chocolate that has some milk in it. Which one are these? Are these proteins, fats, or carbohydrates? Okay, let me show you something here. As you look at the back of this, you'll see there's 25 grams of I'm sorry, there's 25 grams of sugar, 5 grams of protein, and 2 grams of fiber, a total of 30 carbs altogether. So this would be considered a carbohydrate and not a protein or an essential fatty acid. So, but it has the nuts in it. We look at this one. This is straight carbohydrates with a little milk chocolate, but this is absolutely carbohydrates. We look at the peanut butter. This is natural, guys. This is natural peanut butter. That's what it says. And it's skippy, creamy peanut butter. Now, would this be an essential fatty acid, or would this be a protein, or would it be a carbohydrate? As we look at the ingredients, we see it has three sugars, seven proteins, but if we look at the fat, it has a total of 16 grams of fat. So what are the majority of the calories made up of? Fat, this would be a fat right here, and not a protein. Okay, we come here, and they consider this to be a super food, but is it a fat, a protein, or carbohydrate? We like to use this as a protein powder, because it is in powder form, it's the hemp seed, but if you look at the, the makeup of this, on the back, I want you to take a close look at it. Make sure, this is important, that you read your labels. You have eight grams of fat there. But you look over here, zero sugar, five grams of protein. So this would be considered, and this, um, this would be considered a fat. Why? Because it has eight grams of fat. The majority of the calories come from fat. Now, eight grams of fat opposed to five grams of protein, you would think they're pretty close, but they're not, because fat grams, for every fat gram, you have nine calories. For every protein and carbohydrate gram, I mean gram, you have four calories. So this is more than uh, real close to twice the calories in fat. So um, this would be considered a fat. So guys, I hope you like this video today. We talked about 
the proteins. We've talked about the carbohydrates. We have one left and that's the fats and the essential fatty acids. And we're gonna talk about that one on the next video. I hope you like this video as well. A little bit longer, had a few more foods here. But listen, I really enjoyed this and I love you guys. We're gonna keep the videos coming. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you tell me why. And let's discuss that. God bless you guys. What you want, what you want, what you want, what you want.